All right, hey guys, Podcast Friday. Um, we're going to be posting podcasts every Friday on the Gaming Post. And hope you guys enjoy. Uh, today we have Andy, James, Matt, and a special guest, uh, Troy. Uh, what's our first topic, guys? Well, uh, I think we should probably, since this is our first one, we should probably set like the ground rules for podcast. Yeah. <laughs> so right, right. Um, these will be posted... Or this will be made every Friday and then posted um, every Saturday. And, yes. Uh, times, I don't know, this one will probably be shorter than all the rest. But, um, I don't know, times can range anywhere, depends on how many topics we have. We'll go through topics, some of them being game-related, some of them not, just depends on what we want to talk about. Um, there will be three main people, hopefully every time. James, Garrett, and myself. Um, and then... Anyone who wants to join also can join. Um, we might be playing games as we're doing this. Probably not, though. I am um, right now. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, in, at, in the beginning, it will probably won't be as good as until we get better. And uh, we hope you like it. So, just remember every Friday slash Saturday, um, expect a video, and, um, yeah. Well, all right, then. I think we should start off with PC versus console. That sounds like a good topic. Okay. Since Might as well start off that knowing that we're all PC gamers. We're P- no. Yeah, we're PC gamers. Well, Troy I was isn't. a console. I was a console gamer. I was. I we all both. play console, just both. we all play PC the most. I played console since like I played. Console I've just since been converted to PC. I played good. console since like 2009 to 2011. Pretty sure I have yep. the most games on Steam, so I'm definitely a PC gamer. Yeah, I'm 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 pretty big on PC right now. I started my first console when I was three, and that was on PC. So I say I'm more PC. Uh, I'm I'm leading towards PC now. I like PC uh, I w- better. I was console for a lot of my life. When I was five, I got my first Xbox. Yeah, I I like um I probably like PC better just because um there's more indie games, so I can find a wider variety. And yeah, also, yeah, in, yeah. With the computer, um, I am getting a gaming computer soon. I already have one. Yes, you do. Um, I, you can upgrade it. So let's say part um, is old or needs to be fixed. Don't have to buy a new console. Just get a new part. Though consoles are easier to set up and all. Um, I kind of like the yeah, fun well, of PC gaming. We see the thing about thing about consoles can't do is modding. Modding is something very big in PC well, games. <laughs> And if it's just, if it wasn't made for the type of game, cheating, like what I do in Skyrim. No, you, well, yeah, you would Once cheat in Skyrim. Well, whenever I like finish the game and kind of get bored with it, you just sort of spawn a bunch of iron, kill everyone. Iron. You see the thing? It's like it's like Valve modding is what created half of their games, like Portal. You know, well, that's like, one of the most famous games. It's Valve amazing. kind of with Steam. They kind of endorse like they want you to mod. They like yeah. like with Left 4 Dead. Before you couldn't mod. Now they have like the whole workshop, and you can do like I don't know. My boomer's Peter Griffin. Like you can Singer. do you can do anything. Um, and uh, not just modding. Like Portal Two, you can create new rooms. You can add things on, kind of like modding, but yeah, modding kind of. I really the wish they did with that with console, but um, yeah. sadly they don't. What are um, some advantages for console? It's portable. Well, PC is kind of portable. Let's see. Uh, Sometimes. Desktop. The controls are easier. Yeah, but the thing is, a lot of games on Steam, you can just hook up your controller. Yes, yeah, that true. is true. That is true. Yeah. Um, we're talking right, about that ca- we're talking about ex- uh, console advantages, not PC advantages. Console you know what? You, you know what really forth, bothers me what? when people play games on computer and they like the first time, they put the mouse on the left hand and play it with the arrow keys. Yeah. Well, that's like the traditional. That's that's like the traditional thing, though. Like back when, like I don't know, back when you know PC gaming was just like the first thing. There was no consoles. Roblox. Roblox. Yeah, you you use the arrow keys. You know, you don't use a, like that's that's now the iconic thing because you have shift control right there. You have tab. You have all your number like your first three numbers for switching things. Alt. Yeah, you have like all your stuff right there. Whereas, a lot of games E to use or F. It's, it's yeah. one of the most it's one of the most ergonomic designs in gaming history, because your yeah. hand just fits in it. Your hand just fits. Yeah, like like with the Surgeon Simulator, you can just set your hand on the keyboard and you already have all the 
controls. Well, yeah. that depends if you're. Yeah, and good then at you can brutally murder that guy. Yeah, that's that depends if you're good at Surgeon Simulator. Yeah, I I don't have. Well, brutal murder I mean, was who's not in a mere good five at seconds. it? You can't, you know. Who Everyone can do it? surgeries. That's, I've never I've never seen somebody do a flawless surgery in Surgeon Simulator. Actually, no, I, I haven't. Have. I came I have. close once, but that that wasn't even good. Another thing about <laughs> PC that's really good is, um, unlike with console, if you want to record a console, you have to buy a whole device, like upwards of 100 if you want it in HD, and you got to plug it into your computer, so you have to have a computer also. And you record off there. Where if you want to record on the computer and you have a decent computer, you can just use fraps, bandy like bandy yeah, well, cam. You can yeah. use pretty much anything. Okay, so I I used to play console. I used to play console a lot. Um, the thing about consoles is I think they're just easier. Like computers, if you're a console gamer, you come to computer, it's you just it's you're really overwhelmed. You're you're overwhelmed. If you're a PC gamer and you come to console, you think it's 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 not it's, enough. It's pretty good it's hobby. Rudimentary. It's not enough, but it's a pretty good hobby. Like the thing with the thing with PC is like you can max out the graphics. You can you can <laughs> yes. make the game PC look PC. as if what what the developers intended it to be. Unlike with console, they have to dumb you know, they have to make it less and less and less. And um it, it end up it doesn't look as good. And with con with PC, you can just change anything you want. And there are mods that let you do that too, so you can change like the field of view, anything. Well, as you see, another thing console consoles are becoming is they're becoming more or less not really consoles, they're becoming Entertainment centers. Enter entertainment centers, yeah, that's what I was looking for. They, they have like Netflix, Netflix, movies, shows. Yeah. Oh, just looks like Andy went out. Oh, okay. He'll come back in. Oh well. Yeah, I can add him. Alright. Um We'll add him later. Uh huh? There's also, no, nah, I wouldn't say that. PC probably has a way, a way better way of getting games if you use Steam, which pretty much every PC gamer uses, unless you use Steam, EA games. A massive advantage over Xbox uh, or Xbox or PlayStation is Steam. It's right at your home. You don't have to go anywhere to get them. Uh, you have to have a fast internet connection if you want decent downloads, well, though. And you also, um, you need to have enough storage on your computer. But well, that yeah, shouldn't see, be that, a problem. All that, but if you want to get a game for Xbox, you have to go drive to the GameStop. If you set up a computer, you have a good computer, good Wi-Fi, you just get your own get game off your computer. That and plus a, uh, probably like about a handful of their games are free to play. I mean, yeah. Yeah, TF2, like, um, TF2, Planet yeah. Side 2. Planet Side 2, that's, that's pretty good, actually. For the, I uh... mean, I downloaded that yesterday, and I love it. Yeah, me too. I, we've been playing it together. Huh. What were you gonna say? Oh, I was just gonna say like, for the Xbox One that's coming out, aren't they doing like, the cash system type thing where you could just download it, yes, from the internet so you don't have to go out and they buy. are doing. They're trying to make it more yeah, see, like console, Steam. Their consoles are making. They're they're improving themselves. They're getting farther. PCs are just becoming better and better. PCs consoles are making themselves more advanced. I think. Another good thing about the consoles, which isn't good about PC, is that when when the devs for the games build for the consoles, all consoles are the same. You can't sh have one console different than the other. They have to build one game. With PC, they have so many different variations that people, like hardware-wise, you know, it just takes longer. But, of course, PC, that's the advantage. You, different hardwares mean different looking games, uh, graphics-wise, so... Oh, depends um, on what you're looking for. Something about PC that I think has a good advantage over console is consoles you either have a PlayStation and Xbox. One of the two. You can't play with each other. PC, you can have any PC, get Steam, and you can all play together. Yeah, I mean Con like over me and my fr me and my friend, he has a PlayStation, I have an Xbox, we can't do anything together. He no, can't get I... an Xbox, I can't get a PlayStation. It's it just doesn't work out. I wish they would do something like that where it's like um Cross compatible with the games. Yeah, like Sony and Microsoft. I don't know. I think it's just they competition. don't like each other. Yeah, it's, it's just, just competition. competition. Actually, who can get more money and which games are better? Yeah, yeah well, I mean, Xbox has Halo, so that is all. I'm kidding. They have like Gears of War and Madden. 
I actually prefer PlayStation only games over only Xbox games. I was when I was when I my first console was PlayStation. PlayStation two. Yeah, yeah mine too. Mine my too. first console was the PlayStation one. Then I moved first on to console, PlayStation PC. two. Um, I PlayStation two was actually I that. no. I take that back. My first console, if you count games, was probably the PC when I used to play uh, my dad's old games. And then I got the PlayStation one. Then the two. And then I got the Xbox 360, and now I'm kind of between Xbox and the computer. Well, I think you're more of a computer guy. Yeah, I don't. I haven't been on Xbox in too long, though I still play like GTA on there. Well, the first when I was probably like six when I first really started to get into games, which was the PS2, and I started playing like GTA San Andreas, and I used to play the heck out of that game. And yeah, then, I remember that. Then I moved on, like, as I got older. Matthew got me into, like, uh, PC gaming, and I used to play TF2 all the time. Like, that's all that I would play. What, do you have, like, that 30 game... days on that game? Yeah. That, that game comes addicting. I'll yeah. admit that. I, I am playing it more, I will say that. I I've, I played it a lot, many... then I You stopped. know how many times TF2 has been voted best free-to-play first-person shooter oh, it's, out it's, there? It's, it's see, one of the best games ever made. The honestly. thing with yeah. TF2 is... Like, TF2 um, is my favorite game. You should see my laptop. So, I don't know what... I can't really think of a game off the top of my head. The closest thing would probably be Gears of War... Uh, World of Warcraft. <laughs> yeah, I know, that was, that was a way different game. World of Warcraft is free to play, yeah, until you get to a certain level. Then, you have to pay. So, really, it's a pay-to-win game. Yeah, but World of Warcraft, the thing about it is... It's much more... It's very expansive. It's huge. It's massive. Yeah, but... It, like, you don't sell a game free to play, and then you're like, oh, you get to this level, you actually do have to pay money. Wait, another thing about World of Warcraft that I've been seeing a lot of people say is, back when it first made, they didn't have many people, it was $15 a month. Now they have, what, 20 million people? This it's probably more. to like $6 a month. Oh. Because they have so many people. Well, yeah, they don't need that money. Yeah, it's, it's like, just, the rest is just going like, to... Like, see, the thing is... Blizzard, it's ridiculous. With Team Fortress 2. You can get every single item in that game, pretty much every single item in the game, without paying anything. Yeah. You have to find it. But if you pay money, you're not getting any more advantages, because each gun has something really good about them, but it also has something bad. I prefer the stock weapons. Yeah. Those, yeah, stock. The, those only are... thing, the only thing in TF2 that makes you any better, I guess, is really just the uh, misc items or hats. It just makes you look better. Yeah, I mean, everyone's pretty much equal. That's unless if you really know how to play with a character. I mean, unless you're more experienced, that's really the only advantage. Yeah, you really can't, like... the TF2 is probably the most equal free-to-play. Well, one of the most equal free-to-play. I will, I will say this. The one thing that always got on my nerves about TF2 are those people that play as Sniper all the time, and they try to quick-scope you... Oh, those. TF2 is not a quick scope. Yeah, it's it, you don't quick scope. That's in for TF2. Call of Duty. Yeah, you, that's not what you do. <laughs> Call of uh, which you don't like, James. Call of Duty. They make it seem realistic. I don't like Call of Duty. They make it seem realistic, but it's really not. I mean, well, I, I saw mean, I like I saw the funniest video, and I'm, you know, so basically, in the conference with Call of Duty Ghost, this guy, one of the developers, was like, oh, so in the one mission, you're underwater. Okay, cool. Oh, There's this, always the an fish. underwater mission. And he's like, so we huh. have fish. And these fish get out of your so way sick. when you get near them. I was like, okay, cool. They get out of your way. Then he goes all the way back to 1994 when Mario 64 comes out. There's a, there's a part and you can go underwater. There's fish. What happens when you get near the fish? They move out of the way. It's like, it's not a new technology. You shouldn't be proud that you're putting that into a game finally. That's, that's been out for how many years now? It's like, show us something good. You're making the same exact game yeah, over, fish kill you. <laughs> and over again. <laughs> me, me personally, I'm a Battlefield player, but when I play Call of Duty, like, Call of Duty's good if you're looking for, like, an arcade, like, slash special yeah, like forces type thing. Just something to do, like, it's... On your spare time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, like, I used to really play Call of Duty, but then I, I just, like... It got so annoying when people would yeah. kill you. And then you have, like, the try-hard people who are, you know, fully, you know, they've leveled up all they can, 
and then they redo it again like three times, so they're already level thirty yeah, or whatever. Yeah, like, like level fifty why do you prestige waste master, your time prestige on that? fifty, level eighty. Is yeah, ridiculous. why do you waste your time on that? Go to a different game. Go back to another Call of Duty game, except well, the ones again, that are getting hacked. But again, still. it's the games you enjoy, like, like what Troy said. He's played thirty days of TF2. I mean. Call of Duty player would say that's ridiculous, and we're saying it's ridiculous about them. But it's just the game you enjoy is the game you play. Yeah, well, like, I stopped playing TF2, actually. I haven't played it in a while. Because <gasps> I got I got into Battlefield, because, like, I go total tryhard on Battlefield. Like, yeah, it's a tryhard game, because yeah. that's simulator. Yeah. See, the thing, like, I don't know about you guys, but I cannot stay with a game for long. I, I'm a weird gamer, because, like, I can I can only handle a game so much before I just get bored. I'm like, okay, this is boring now. Like, that's why like when I get games, I usually end up like discarding them, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I haven't played this forever. And I start playing it again. I don't stick with the game for long because it just gets boring. It's the same thing over and over again. That that's what my that's what my brother does. He like plays a game, and either he gets stuck on something or he doesn't. He gets sick of it and it stops. Like from, Portal, from, the from, Portal games are probably the games that I tried like. You know, like, I was like, you know, I'm going to beat this. I don't care how long the level takes. I will, you know, finish the game. And I finished in, like, three days. Wow. I don't even you think see, I, I finished in three I'm, days. I'm the total opposite. When I play a game, I play it for, like, weeks and weeks to come until another game catches my eye. Unless yeah. it's a really... Like yeah. Battlefield 4. <laughs> I, I pre-ordered Battlefield 4. The problem that I'm having now is... I get a gaming computer. I'm not getting new Xbox. So what do I do with that pre-order? I only paid five dollars for it, but still, I could give it You're to you. Your five dollars back. I did. I got dog tags though, so I mean that's kind of. cool. Wait, Matt. As long as I got the dog tags. <laughs> Matt, if you're getting a new computer, you're gonna lose all of your Steam games. Uh, no, I won't. If I sign up with the account, if, if I'll just have to download them again. He just has to download all of them. Oh yeah, it's sorry. Uh, um, I think we stop. cover that topic yeah. pretty well. I think, I think, I think we kind of got off it. Well, but... that's kind of like the thing with podcasts. You you get off from the topic. This, you start this talking is about... our first podcast. This yeah. is our first. You start talking about I... way different things. What's, um, what's our next thing? Uh... Source filmmaking. Sure. So, basically, recently we've been watching a lot of Gary's Mod slash SFM um, shorts. Done. Most of them. Most of them being for humor. Most yeah. Of them being for most. Humor. Well, pretty much they're all for humor. And yes. like um, oh, one of the recent ones, except for Saxy, except it was, for Saxy. It was by um, Ethelmod, I think. Oh, did insanity. The insanity, and that's... like this is <laughs> this is why I love the community that makes these videos is because <laughs> they all seem to like follow the same kind of rules when it comes to comedy wise in the in the thing because so... it's like just the things that they do are so random, but they're they're just, they're just so funny. And I, I do think they deserve a lot of credit, and they do get it. They get, you know, half a million views on each video. Sometimes so, even a million or well, more. I think one of the most famous, and all I don't think almost all TF2 players know this, is Team Fabulous 2. Yes. That well, is... The, that, 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 that's a G-mod. That so basically that explains mod. Team Fortress 2 it's, it's in like a very a crazy, really crazy way. That's like every, every source filmmaking video put together and... The most humorous fashion it's I've just, ever seen. I, That's why it's called Team Fabulous. <laughs> I saw that video last summer, and I showed it to Matthew because I knew he would think it was funny. It was probably one of the funniest videos I've seen, actually. Yes. It's, My favorite part is at the beginning, just when they're all waiting. Yeah. And they all start yelling at each other. Yeah, yeah. Found my ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's another really funny part in that? Uh... There's just so many. The whole video see. is good. Yeah. Um, I also like... It's the, good in a weird way. Somehow -Mod, it's just really good. The Gmod idiot boxes, they're always I extremely funny. Yeah. And, like, the thing that I like is that there's so many game references. Like, you really need to know what goes on in games in order yeah. to get them. And usually, like, I'll show no people, like, how do you think that's funny? It's like, you gotta play the game. It, I love how he does the game references. Like, I don't know, the one part in the newest one... Where he's just sitting there with the kid and he's watching TV and he like punches him across the room. He's like, um, you shall pay. And it's from the end of Mass Effect 3. Spoilers, sorry. Not if you see it. And it's like, um, then the Reapers come and they destroy his satellite. 
Like, I love the game references that he does. Yeah, but a lot of people won't get it if you don't play a lot of games. No, but he, I, I it's, assume it's, he's hoping. The, you, the you do. things that make those videos funny, if you've played the game, it makes it, it, makes it funny because how they distort them. How yeah. they make them make, how they change them to be really funny. Cause, Actually, but, yeah, keep going. Because they change up like the normal heavy. They've turned the heavy in the weirdest character I've ever seen. Doing yeah. creepy heavy, dances, heavy changing his voice. <laughs> it's ridiculous. He, but it's just so funny. He's like the funniest to mess with. And Scout. Scout, Sniper, and Heavy. Yeah, I mean... Sometimes Spy. Some, sometimes Spy. <laughs> heavy <laughs> was never... Like, he was never intended to be put in that type of no. situation. Light. He's like, like the most famous TF. <laughs> yeah. But he's like perfect for it. He's like he's perfect for it. Yeah. He's like that I mean, Russian. He he's like that stereo. He's like this the the Russian, the 60s Russian. Like do you wait, do you remember in the um Team Fathers video it's do you remember vodka? Savage. Yeah. <laughs> like you you have to play the game in order to understand it. I hope you would have played the game if you're watching a Team yeah. Fortress 2 yeah. video. But still <laughs> It like just the way that they make them like one of the one of the scenes I love it's and then it's in the insanity video, it's like when the ticket camera, normally in Gmod, or uh, SFM, and they focus it on one point of the body, head anywhere, and then they like throw the body all over the place like oh, yes. when the, when the um, the soldier's running, and like you see. You see his face, and it's just focused on his face. And then you see, like, all his body parts flopping around in the background. It's just, like, that makes it, like, that adds to the, the funniness I, of it. Like, you mean it, the, the scene where they're playing spasmodic polka and he's running? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, that, that's, like, that's, that's a great scene. It, it never <laughs> makes sense why it's so funny. It, it just is. It's or, just, like... That, <laughs> that also reminds me of, um... It's not really like showing at one place and you see everything else flopping around, but the like, Gmod idiot boxes, whenever they're saying something, he like freezes the body and moves the arms and legs around. Yeah, and it looks like, so funny. He moves the head around and it makes them look like they're like, you know, going insane or something. It yeah, just... like, the, like the when he was copying Fred. Yeah. And well, he, he's all still and his head is just like keeps moving and he's talking. Which one Another... was it, Matthew, when like, I think it was Gmod idiot box number seven where he's sitting at the computer? In his arms. That was the first. That was the first time. episode that I was ever the saw. First time I saw. And that. he starts laughing, and then the combine comes up, and has the fire burn in it. And like yes, th like the funniest part of that video. Gets in the car, turns the key. Car doesn't start. Goes to the door, turns the door key. Doesn't yeah. start. You hear the car noise like that right there. Goes to the phone, turns the key on the phone. You know what it all that's start. from, right? You know what all that's from, right? Uh, what is it from? The Terminator. Okay, that's what I figured because it, 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 yeah. That whole car scene when like he rips the door off, it's from the Terminator. It's just like the way it's all played out and with like the key, it's it's like that is like. The best comedy, comedy in the gold. Gary's mod. It's comic comedy gold. gold. Comic gold. Yes. Jeez. That was a kind of a quick topic. Do you want to keep going with it, or are we going to go to the next one? I don't, I don't know. know. Well, we, think... were, we were just talking about, like, humorous yeah. um, what else videos. Can... There's a lot of serious ones, like... There's some sad ones, ones too. Sad yeah, ones. Like, like the... The, the story of a century. The story of a century. That is... I teared up on that one. <laughs> oh, also, but I didn't cry. What about um, Bad Medicine? I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen that one either. One of the this has nothing to do with this, but if you notice, sometimes the screen will move, like the picture. I just I'm just making sure it's still recording. If you're wondering, um, because it does move around sometimes. I'm just shaking it a little to make sure it's recording. Um, I what was the one with the engineer? The two engineers. Practical problems. Yeah, practical problems. Oh, yeah, yeah. That one is that not one's funny. So main. But that one is so famous. Like that one. I rem that was the first one. That's I like ever a saw. professional video. That looks like something Valve would make. What did you hear? The music. The music is the TF2 characters. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just of, like. Like, do you know when? Do you know when he's building the um, the bomb? The yeah. Missile? You can the, hear the, the medic going in the background. It's the noise of the medic. Yeah, it's just like. That that video is, and they, you know what they they use? They use the Connect. They use the Xbox Connect, and they did something with the Source filmmaker, and they were able to do all the motions of the guys with their own body. Wow. 
Like, cause I saw, like I saw the behind the, the scenes. Game. Like, if you've seen the Making It Short, the Counter-Strike Global Fence Valve video, yeah, it shows the video of them, like, jumping over the box, and actually has the real guy jumping over the box. Yeah. I, I mean, they, they use more well, technology with that. I think, but, I think yeah. this is a large example of how Valve ch shares their community with modding and gaming, because Valve uses Source Filmmaker to make their videos. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like the, the you know what? How, how many videos can these people make with the Source Filmmaker? You put it out, you get, like, these, these professional-grade videos, and it's just people doing it. Well, it's, and... And I don't think I don't think many people know this, but I'm pretty sure it was announced. But they made those videos in a week. Yeah, that was in one week. Like you know, the the Counter Strike Global Offensive trailer. That's a pretty good Source Filmmaker trailer. Yeah. And I've seen people copy that or like do something on that level, and it's like, well, it's just like the lighting, everything they can do with that is amazing. And Valve has always been. Like, the one game company, it's like, you know, you want to mod our game? Good. We, we, we want you to mod it as long as we you don't that. completely that. mess it up, then, yeah, go ahead and mod it. It's actually, you know, kind of cool. Um, they... Um, some people, like, the I forget, the one guy, he completely ruined Half-Life 2 before it even came out. And he, got, he paid the price for it. I think he got arrested. Um, but... Pretty much all the other times, the modding has been good for Valve. They've gotten games out of it. Many games. I'm um, their modded games right now. <laughs> James. Alright. I am. Uh, I just... I'm thinking about these things while we're talking. Uh, one more thing. Again, first podcast type of thing. Um, we will also be posting other videos to this channel. So Yeah, we're going to... We if we get the um, tech, we're probably going to post um, gameplay videos, maybe. Yeah, we're not maybe. just going to post um, podcasts. We'll do um, probably all of us playing a game, and uh, maybe just recording one of us. Till we, till we figure out how to do like multiple screens at once, or switching screens, um, we'll just keep it with one. Um, probably someone who has a computer that can do two things at once. Probably James... Your computer could do that. I could do that. Um, he said mine first. <laughs> well, I have one of you. I have an Asus. That's you could you could, both of you could post the video awesome. or just um. So yeah. Or if you guys if you guys enjoy the channel, don't forget to subscribe because we're gonna if we get if we get enough subscribers, we're gonna be doing a lot. Yeah, I mean we will we will kind of dedicate it. This will be a pretty do. cool long term goal eventually. You know, podcasts will kind of be the thing that we do on the side, and then we'll do bigger things. But we're starting out with podcasts. This will be the thing that kind of gets the channel going. We also will have Garrett's channel and my personal channel on the side um, under, I think, it's the other awesome channels that you should check out. Type. We don't have my channel yet. We do not um, have my channel. No, we'll, that'll be up by the time we post this. But that's also there for you guys to check out. Um, actually... The time we're recording it's the last day of school so i will have a lot of time out of the summer to record post videos every friday we'll be doing podcasts every friday will be the podcast and um and more views and subscribers we just may do it every other day mm, we could do it that's that's kind of big but maybe every um three days a week possibly yeah something like that so because every other I'm day <laughs> And eventually they're gonna be, they might become longer. It all depends on you guys. Yeah, you guys. I don't know choice. how long we've been running for now, but we could do a few more topics. I mean, we're going pretty good here. Yeah. Um, I'm, it's only eleven, and it's, I'm it's still a, yeah. It's only awake. like it's only like eleven forty-five p.m. So the next topic I I want to bring up bad. is in a few weeks. I I'm not quite sure the exact number of weeks, but I think it's two weeks away. E3, the oh, big E3. game uh, event E3. of the year. Xbox One. I, I wish I could go. Um, one of these years, I'm going to go. Hopefully, with all you guys, and um, maybe that'll be the year Half-Life Three gets announced. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Um, Believe. So, what are some new games coming to E3? I know a few. Last of Us. That's I've seen that. That looks that was really last good. E3. Um, oh. You know how many tens that game is getting out of the reviews? Yeah, I, I saw that. 
It's so impressive. You get you can't hate on Naughty Dog. I'm not a big zombie game fan. Only, only... it will. It's not. Really See, I a I really like zombie games. It's more like bio. It's like a kind of. pandemic of fungus. It's like. I guess you would count it's that. Kind of like zombies. a Fallout type of game. Except it's well, not speaking an RPG. Of so it's not as RPG. It's not as RPG as Fallout. Speaking of Fallout. Speaking of Fallout, I hope in the C3 they will confirm Fallout 4. Uh, Actually, yeah. there have been many rumors that there is going to be somewhat of a Fallout 4. Um, I mean, probably. Somewhat. Well, we don't know exactly, but it. I've we, seen they're them. hinting towards it being in the LA area, so. That I'll, can be kind of cool. I've, I've seen some of them, because I've been going around looking at new games, because I was interested in going to E3 this year, but obviously I couldn't. One of these years, we're, we should all go. and We could create a video. If we get enough subscribers, yeah. people. I would, I don't, even if we don't, I'm I'm going to make a video and post it. Um, Another game that I, it's probably not going to be shown there. It might be, but I'm just excited for it in general, is the new Wolfenstein game. Oh, oh yeah. That it does look pretty good. That game, cause I Oops. I've actually played. I have the original Wolfenstein, and I, I play played that. I played the original. Every if once I'm right, in a while. Then the original Wolfenstein was the main bad guy, Hitler in a yeah, robot. Yeah, you're too. fighting. You're fighting the Nazis. When I saw that, that was just so epic. Hitler in a robot suit. The whole like, series is epic. The whole series. Like the is trailer. Epic. It is. The trailer for Wolfenstein, the the, the new order. Looks amazing. It's awesome. Like another game that I'm looking forward to that might not be there. It's also made, being made by Bethesda. Is the Evil Within? That game is probably one of the scariest trailers reviews. I've ever seen. I heard this game bad reviews. It, it, look, it looks like it looks gory as hell. <laughs> I heard this game. Kind Come on, of move reviews. your mic away from your face, James. You got really loud. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's a big noise going on in the background. I'm just sort of blocking it up. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's over now. Podcast live. Podcast <laughs> yep. Don't expect these to be too professional. We're trying to be as um, hey. professional as we can. Yeah. And again, till podcast, we get till we get really good setups. Podcasts don't have to be professional. They're supposed to be just enjoyable. Yeah, laid back kind of that thing. Um, what are some other games? Uh, Possibly, okay. I saw something. Some I forget where I saw it. Halo Five. Oh, I doubt it. No, it's Destiny. Destiny. Oh, Halo Destiny, 5. yes, Destiny. It's I Destiny. cannot wait for that game. Nice that job, would man. probably be the Halo one 5. reason that I actually get a console is because of Destiny. It looks... Have you seen the trailer? Yes. yes. It looks very cool. Um, another? And I'm uh, Troy, you can okay, probably I chime in sound, on this I one. Mean, Do you know what I'm going to say? I may sound dumb on this, but I really 4. hope... No, not Battlefield 4. That, that's also a cool <laughs> thing you'll see there. Another game that you <laughs> got really mad about. James, what are you saying? Okay, I may sound dumb for saying this, but there is a game I would hope and I would like to see be, like, confirmed, is Time Splitters 4. Oh. Never played the series. No. Time Splitters is James. an awesome game. James. It's an awesome game. James, come on. Well, for anyone who hasn't played that, go look at it, because apparently it's awesome. I've never played it's, it. It's... It's good. Troy, it's kind of bad, but it was just so. It was such what's an awesome your game. game that you have been waiting for besides Battlefield 4? Oh, Grand Battle Theft Auto 5. 5. Yes. Oh that, my God, yeah. Grand Theft Auto 5. Can't that was wait. Amazing. That's probably going to be the thing that kind of makes the whole show yes. good. Um, I'm even excited for. Like, I'm not too big of a Grand Theft Auto fan. I don't have. I have the fourth one. I have the fourth one. But um, we have all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. I I cannot like Grand Theft Auto Five looks so the it graphics looks... look amazing and all Grand Theft Auto stories have been good. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a really bad Grand Theft Auto story. No, they're all good actually. They're and plus you know what else uh, Grand Theft Auto is also good for is mods. Well, you know oh. what you know what don't say that James because I'm pretty sure that it's not coming to PC. Oh what? I'm. What? I thought I heard. I well, thought I saw it somewhere that. Sometimes Steam is gonna have to take it in. No, so Rockstar no, said it's no. not coming to. They're PC. only. They're only putting it on the Xbox oh and the God. new Xbox. Oh that's, my that's God. That's a mistake. Because, I don't like them now. <laughs> well, that's now mistake. this is why we have Grand Theft Auto 4 because the wonderful people modded community they actually have mods that make Grand Theft Auto 4 look like Grand Theft Auto 5. That's what I was thinking. 
and you can, you know, you can still play it. Graphics, like, games, I'm kind of a strange gamer like that, too. Like, gr games that don't have the best graphics, I don't really care. If it's a fun game, I'll play it. Oh, yeah, I totally agree with you on that. Like, kind of, kind of, I, I don't want to be mean here, but the original Half-Life. That it had okay graphics, but it was really fun. Like, at at that point, if it's that old, or even if it's new and doesn't have good graphics, it's like if it's a fun game, I don't really care as no. long as I can see what's going on. You know, graphics don't really matter. Now, if it's a if it's a sequel like Grand Theft Auto Four, then you kind of expect good graphics or Grand Theft Auto Five, I should say. Think about well, things like Call of Duty. They're, they're, They've they're used fans. the same graphics engine for the past five or six years. For some reason, same enemy, same story. For some reason, their fans guns. always expect better graphics. It comes out the same, but they're still satisfied. I think what they do is they tweak a few. They make textures look nicer. They change like the fish. textures on the guns. <laughs> they change the maps, maybe. I I was so. Wait, what are we talking about? Call of Duty? Um, we're just talking about fish. the really only thing they change is the guns. I was so are mad. Are we talking about Call of Duty? Kind of. Um, how I got extremely mad when I got that map pack. Then I forget which one. I don't even know which one it was now. Which game is it? Uprising. Which game? Yeah, Uprising. And then oh, what Uprising. was that one map that everyone plays? Um, Studio. Uprising. Studio. I got so mad when I realized Studio. I, I, I got on. I was like, you know what? This it's, is it's the same it's map. Du or not dust. Uh, what is the name of it? I, I can't remember. It's the same Rust. map from Call Rust. of Duty. Rust. Rust. It's the same map from I Call of Duty Black to, Ops. I that map. Like why? They just, can you make they... a new map? I new... like the map though. Yeah, but it's like but see, you... it's, I, I found it weird because yeah. Infinity Ward made Modern Warfare Two and um, Treyarch made oh, Black yeah. Ops Two. I that's that confusing. Well, they me. switch off every year. Now this is Infinity Ward's year, and they're making ghosts. I actually like Infinity Ward Infish. better than Treyarch. Infinity Ward is better. I, the, I, I like that's because, a tough one. Because, no, I like because, the second one. Yeah, well, me too. I like Black Ops 2 just because it's more laid back. I don't like, like, I'm not one of those people who goes try hard and tries to, you know, get, I don't rage. I don't know about you guys, but I do not rage. Okay, well, I'm a try hard. I'm competitive over like every game I play. I get mad, but I will not, you know, flip out and rage. It depends like what's happening. Like if the same guy keeps killing me in a really dumb way, I'll be then like, I'll leave okay, the come game. On, stop. <laughs> like if TF2, dying, I'll be like, oh, I'll just try harder. <laughs> TF2, if you're getting dominated and you can't, you try to kill him every single time. He's killed you twelve times, maybe. You just, you can't really resist. You just get. Pissed. Don't don't pull off a Troy two. We have a second Troy. Troy. Yeah. Troy. Troy's He's here. Troy. He um, Troy's it all the time. Older, Whenever we kill him, he dies like twice, and he calls us noobs and then leaves the game. Well, he's not just be, sensitive. If you watch this Troy, we're not going to be mean. We're just saying <laughs> that is true. We're only saying the facts. Even he too that does it. Um. Well, all right then. Yeah, like games like that. Like, at least they updated the graphics engine. It actually looks good now. Although it's still... It's more like Battlefield graphics, it seems. I think Battlefield's better. Honestly. Battlefield... It is. Like, Stra Strategy-wise, like, skill-wise... Like, I don't think Call of Duty takes skill. I don't no. think... Yeah, exactly. Like, I just noticed something. Um, Call of Duty. It would pretty much be like... In Battlefield, if you have to enter a building, you have to do it with strategy. Kill everyone in a certain order so you don't die. You can actually you die in that game. <laughs> yeah. Well, so yeah. You planet know side, it. planet side, and battlefield the same. They have large maps, and planet it side is like a world. <laughs> it t it's team it effort. Planet side, James and I know this. You can't win unless you have at least ten people that's, raiding. That's why I like. Um, it's I don't know, the I don't know if many people have heard of this game, but World of Tanks. That's, that's why I like that game. Because if no one works with each other in the team, you're not gonna win. I always hate when people do their own thing. And we do end up winning, and it's like, no, you're not supposed to play like that. This is a team effort. That's you're... that's what's different about Call of Duty. You can do the maps are so small, you could be do individually good and win the game for your team. Call it's Call of Duty is like saying, like Valve saying, okay, we've already made a Team Fortress One, we already have a Team Fortress Two, let's put out a Team Fortress Three, but it's gonna be the same thing as Team Fortress Two, with the same maps and same maybe different guns. And same people, but we're just gonna we're just gonna change the name. 
and maybe make it look a little better. We're just going to keep doing that. Like, that's the problem with Activision. Activision, oh, we have a good series. Let's just keep it running for how long, for as long as we can. Like, as long as Call of Duty keeps getting, like, people keep buying it, it's going to go on forever. People will always buy Call of Duty. Yeah, that's the problem. Like, I, one day, it has to end. I, unfortunately, Activision is going to have to realize... Fortunately. Fortunately. Activision is going to have to realize... We just can't keep selling this game. It's the same game. Well, the fans are going to realize that they people can't keep buying buy this crap. No, the, they're, they're stupid. Gonna... They're I, I love the people enough. who are like, oh, look, a new Call of Duty, Call of Duty game. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. And then they get it. It's like, whoa, this is the best game ever. Look at how better it is than the last one. We have new guns. <laughs> and then it's like, you know, three months later, God, this game sucks. I can't wait till the new one. Go yeah, back yeah, Go I, back to Modern Warfare 2. Actually, it's more like three years later. I can't believe I got the next two Call of Duties. Man, I'm not gonna buy this game again. Next time, I'm buying this game. This is gonna be like the best this ga game in the this year. This is better than the last one. I have a good feeling about this one. Name the, the last right time here, guys. Call of Duty won Game of the Year in anything. Probably Modern Warfare 2. That's our last time I seen it win Game of the Year was Call of Duty 2. My favorite one. The first the best one out there. The first Call of Duty was like a really groundbreaking. It was like. This is actually a good game, because it was new. Well, Call of Duty 2, still new. Call of Duty 3, even that was still new. Call of Duty 3 is probably the best one. 4, four kind of brought the series back. 4 brought the series back. It was like, whole new design, not World War 2. 5 went back to World War 2. Kind of brought it up. Yeah, it was still like, you know, this is cool. It, it introduced zombies. Nazi zombies. That was like the, the highlight of the game. Call of Duty 2, same thing as Call of Duty... Or Call of Duty Four and Warfare Two was the same thing as Call of Duty Modern Warfare, except it was it was new. Better graphics. Better graphics. That was Better graphics. Difference. Those were the two Modern Warfare's that actually had a difference. The rest of them, like then, Modern Warfare Two went, and Three, have no difference. Then you went to Black Ops. Okay, brand new game. Whoa, this is amazing. Black Ops was the worst game I've ever played. That was it pretty is bad. So I hated, stupid. I hated that. Yeah. You said you liked Black Ops better than Black Ops. It just seemed like cartoony. No, I'm talking. No, no. The multiplayer in Black Ops, I oh. liked, but the story, like, I played the campaign, and I it was terrible. I never played the campaign. It was terrible. I didn't understand that. <laughs> and then you, went, then you went to Call, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. People still bought it, but it was the same as Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and 1. That, that was then you went to person. Black Ops 2. Same thing as Black Ops. Maybe it had some different things. Like, they just copied themselves over and no, over. Oh, it's, they made it. Oh, it's way better. It just has more modern things. That makes the game so much better. It's in the future. Whoa. I, mean, I gotta seriously. buy this now. <sighs> What's uh, really gonna bother me if they, they keep going with Call of Duty into the future more, and, like, the enemies are gonna be robots and you have lasers, I'm just gonna stop right it's there. Gonna, it's gonna turn into Far Cry. What, what is Ghost? Blood Ghost is gonna be, like, the exactly. special forces. Far except Cry more modern, except for, like, 70s movies. Uh, Who knows? Be, Next game, be... they're probably gonna add, like, monsters. Yeah, like... Call of Duty Ghost. Special Forces Something type to make of thing. It you're, you're all silent. It's going to be the same game. You're still going to come in rushing with your gun, you know, your gun shooting all over the place. You're not going to be quiet. <laughs> Call of Duty is not, has, does not have the reputation of being a stealth game. Call of Duty what? is you you run in and you shoot. You know, you never die. It's or, supposed to be no. Special Forces. Whoa. More like Man. Special Forces. <laughs> yeah, they're Special Forces, all right. This this conversation has really turned into just bashing Call of Duty. But okay, I, I mean, one more thing. let's, let's move on to a new topic before we get unsubscribed because we're bashing on Call of Duty. Okay, we're not bashing on Call of Duty. We're just listing no, we the are. Cons. We are. No, we're bashing on Call of Duty. Okay, yeah, yeah we are. It's okay. Don't hate us. All right, just... what's what's another topic? We went from it's E3 a pity. We're PC games. to Call of Duty being horrible. Are we still talking about E3? <laughs> we were. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if we can think of some good things about Call of Duty. Uh, it's sixty dollars. Really, really, really good. Uh, how can I say? Like gun Maybe it's physics. Uh, no. I will, in a, I in will a way, say. Physics. I will say. Like Black Ops Two, it is a. It is pretty detailed. I'm not gonna lie. It's I'm a gonna fun game. I'm gonna have to say. I'm gonna have to say this: that the dogs in that game. Oh God, the dogs in that game are just amazing. Oh yeah, uh, right. <laughs> I mean, what kind they, of dog, they what just kind come of dog up, touches just, you and you die? They just come up and nudge you. They just nudge you in the leg. You just fall over and die. It's like 
Man, those are the coolest dogs ever. You will never see a dog like that in your life. I'm I'm gonna give all my credit to the dogs here. Sarcastically bashing. You know, the the thing is, the thing is like, Call of Duty players, uh, like they bash Battlefield players, because they know that Battlefield actually takes a decent amount of skill no. to play. Call of Duty players are like, oh, Battlefield is stupid. Battlefield players are like, whatever, we know our game is better. We don't have to bash on you. Because Battlefield is just an all-around better game. It is. Battlefield yeah. is more realistic. Call of Duty is It's a like, simulator. You can get shot with a fifty caliber sniper rifle right the in the foot. middle of the chest. And nothing will happen. That would blow <laughs> you apart and then, if and it really shot you. And then the same sniper in that game. <laughs> It's ridiculous. Knife them in the foot and they're dead. Yeah, like <laughs> if, if, if any, arm, anywhere on your body, if a fifty caliber sniper rifle bullet hit you at like point blank range, you'd be dead, or Obviously. you would be so incapacitated you would pass out and your you arm would probably would, die. Your arm would probably get blown no, off. No, you see, if you got hit a bullet, a uh, fifty caliber, but that close, your arm would just be yeah, blown. Yeah, someone with a pistol comes right up to your head, shoots you in the head. Oh, I'm still alive. I'm okay. <laughs> I saw I saw the funniest post one time. This guy, and he was like, this guy popped around the corner and shot him. And you have, like, in uh, Modern Warfare 2, like, your your face gets all bloody, like, all that. Yeah, yeah. And it showed, like, the third-person point of view of the guy, and he got shot, and, like, blood was pouring out of his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was, like, it's it stopped, and then it was, like, nothing, and his eyes were back to normal. Like, you know how the blood goes away. It was like, yeah, I guess that's what happens. I don't know why your eyes get bloody when you get shot. You think you, also you know... Look I also at... like how you get shot and you're like pretty much wounded. Yeah, if you just stand without getting shot for like about five seconds, you're already healed. You're you're good. Yeah, battlefield. Only real life was like that. A little better on that. <laughs> oh, I cut myself. Wait five seconds and it's all healed. <laughs> no one would ever like get hurt. Activision, I want you to make that happen in real life. If you do that, we may actually like your Call of Duty. Yeah, only yeah, Call of Duty like was owned by THQ. <laughs> and then they went out of business. No, what if they're owned by EA? Oh God! Like games I play oh games. no! EA would like. <laughs> now EA, the problem with EA is that they make That's they EA. make really good games. No, yeah. Dice makes really good games. No, EA EA sells really good games. They don't make them. Excuse me, I'm not gonna give any credit publish, to EA here. They publish. They publish really good games. They don't do any of the work, obviously, but they publish them. They have. The worst marketing tactics ever. <laughs> Seriously. Let's make them pay again. You you buy, um, Sim City. Oh, you thought you could play offline, huh? Well, now you have to stay online all the time for no reason, <laughs> even if you're on a single player game, because we're just gonna send you messages. Hey, look, Call of Duty Battle. Or <laughs> Call of Duty <laughs> Battlefield 4. <laughs> Call of Duty's out. <laughs> go, go not buy it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Matt, you are not on a roll today. I'm Call not. Call of Duty Battlefield 4. <laughs> well, we're talking about Call of Duty so much, and now we're going to E8, so I gotta transition. EA just wants to plug themselves all the time saying, hey, buy our new game. It's cool. We're gonna charge you way more money than we need to. Another thing that they did with uh, Mass Effect 3, or Call of Duty Mass Effect 3, was um, <laughs> right when the game came out, the day the game came out, no, can't put it with the game. They gotta sell extra DLC for more money, and they don't, no, don't put it with the game. You gotta pay extra money to get that DLC. Like, that is, that's just saying, no, we want more money for this game. We know you're gonna buy it. <laughs> They're, they're not using what gaming companies are made for. Gaming companies are made to create games that people are supposed to enjoy. They're creating games so they can get money. They're creating, unfortunately, they're they're publishing good games. <laughs> that, that, that's the problem. They own really good... Like, if DICE was by themselves, they would probably be, like, one of the top people. That's why that's why EA is not considered a good gaming company, because their, their tactics for selling things are just so bad. Wait, like, it's they, like a gift. Let's, to let's sort of jump back. That doesn't work. Wait, let's sort of jump back to Valve. Even Gabe said it. Like, he said this. He said, we make games for the fans and their entertainment. Yeah, that's what games are for. EA doesn't care 
how the game game turns out. As long as you buy it, they're (laughs) happy. And if you don't buy it, they're going to make you buy it somehow. They're like, (laughs) oh, you bought Battlefield 4. Well, now you're going to have to pay an extra $24, and you're going to get SimCity. You are going to get (laughs) SimCity. To play Battlefield 4, you have to get (laughs) SimCity. Please buy your extra $60 disc that you can insert after you insert the first disc, and then you can play the game, basically. One disc is to download the game, the other <laughs> disc is to download the maps. You just have the worst marketing techniques. Buy your games, or we're gonna get Liam Neeson on you. Uh. Alright. Have any of you guys played uh, Mirror's Edge? I've seen oh my it. god, I love that game. The parkour game? Yeah. Oh my god. They're coming out with the second one, I believe. That was really fun, actually. That the was really fun. Game. It has to it be was... produced by EA. And the artwork was really good, They too. own, yeah. except for the wrestling games, which was owned by THQ. They did a horrible job with them. I, I don't even know who they're owned by now. I think it's... Um... 2K, I think. Yeah, 2K. Wrestling. If... If EA can somehow, and this won't happen, buy 2K game, uh, sports games, they'll have a monopoly on every single sports game. We'll have to come up with a new one just so they don't. We can, we can do, um, like the, I don't know, swimming with the Kinect, the new Kinect. Oh, that is going to be the dumbest thing. <laughs> you know, I found it funny. During the Xbox Live conference, where they re- revealed their new console. It took them like 10 minutes. Well, that. But people who were watching it on the Xbox and had their Kinects on, any command they gave during the con- the live stream, the Kinect would do. So it's like, Kinect, go to the internet. The people's Kinects were going to the internet, and the live stream would stop. So like, you could not watch the live stream on your TV through the Xbox if you had a Kinect plugged in. So I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> I I will say the Kinect or the new Xbox looks doesn't. I kind of like it. It's subtle. It's not it's, extravagant. It's a, sh- it's a chic design. It's just it's like. Very, it's very. Modern. Yeah. It's far out. Like, if you look... Probably the most interesting looking console is PS3. Just, like, yes. the curves it has. It's like, I kind of just like the box. And people are making fun of it, like, oh, it looks like a, you know, the VHS player. Who cares? But it's like, <laughs> if it plays the games, it's okay. Game computers aren't going to look pretty. They're big boxes. They may have fancy lights, but... No, in the yeah, end, they're just big them. boxes. Big box, fancy lights. Uh, got any more topics? Or I mean, okay, I just I just want to say this. We meant no offense to Call of Duty players. These are just our opinions. Yeah, I mean, if you like Call of Duty, go ahead. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like what I said. It's if you enjoy the game, play the game. Yeah, it's, it's don't it's don't just we we feel that there, you really don't need much skill for. I mean, Matt. Matt, just stop. Matt. Yeah, I mean, just stop right you know. there before you go too so far. <laughs> if you want to be gay, play Call of Duty. It's fine. It's whatever. Dude, okay, we're not bashing. We're just saying it's our opinion. <laughs> Troy said that. <laughs> okay, so Troy's no longer gonna be. No, he can cut that out. You know. No, I'm not gonna cut it out. I'm not look. I'm okay, not okay, sitting through like an hour of footage. I think it's time we end the podcast. Thank no. you for watching. No. No. no we, yeah. Well, we don't have, really have. Any, we, we need more. Play, We've been going for like an hour. Let's do one more topic. All right. One more. Okay. Topic. What's another topic we could do? Um. International gaming. International gaming. Online gaming. Interracial. Wait, we gaming. already went through that. What am I saying? <laughs> Interracial. What the heck? <laughs> Pretty sure that happens all the Racial time. Gaming. It's okay. I can only play with white people. I can't play with any other race. Okay. Now. <laughs> Actually. Okay. Now this is a weird segue to a new topic. But I saw this video today, and it was by, I forget who it was by, now, and this video was very creepy, and I, this has nothing to do with gaming, and I'm not going to say too much. So, basically, down in the south of the U.S., we still have some interesting people down there, um, that are kind of scary, mainly, um... You mean Americans? No. No. Worse than that. Like, people... How do I put Red this? Rednecks? 
No. Hicks? No. <laughs> you it's something really that should action. should have been gone year like fifty or sixty years ago and they're still doing this. What the KKK? Yes. They're still there. Who is I knew somebody was had to break the ice. I was gonna say it, but I I didn't want to say it. I saw a video and they were like in like why do we still do this? We are at a point in time it's the same where there should not be any of this. <laughs> <It's the cell. laughs> Okay, now we're bashing on our own people. No, no. I, I, I would not consider these people to be... I'm more northern. <laughs> northern. Yeah, yeah I would not consider these people to be loyal citizens. They are, like, destroying... Uh, what was it? Memphis, Tennessee? I think that's where it was. It's like, no, why do you still do this? This is something that happened years they ago. Still, they believe in that stuff still. I think That's it's how wrong. they were brought up. Oh, well. I just found that really creepy. At least they only have, like them as slaves they're just i guess like what we say they're saying their own opinion i don't Obviously agree with it wrong, no Obviously i guess it would wrong. be freedom of speech but it's still it's like that's not something it's wrong that should there, be every man is equal yeah every human being is equal they're all we're all the same they're i don't know it's just very very strange to think that we still have that kind of you still have them in our world. I just don't understand why they're not really enforcing it. No, no, that's not what I meant. I, that came out wrong. <laughs> I'm not gonna comment. It came out very wrong. I, I don't understand, like, why, like... They're not doing anything. The cops or, like, Cause the law enforcement isn't really doing anything about probably it. Probably because it's just freedom of speech. I mean, technically... As long as they're not hurting anybody, it's <sighs> They're free. killing I black saw people. No, they... I didn't know. I don't think Matt they ever said, said that. that. Matt never said that. No, they aren't. I there okay. was there was a thing in 1999, and there was a killing of, and it was by them. Actually, oh, so this probably is the creepiest wrong. part of the video was when they were doing like their worshiping so, thing. Oh, so, that is weird. And they had they had the cross in the middle. They like burned the cross. And they burned the cross. Yeah. And they're Did all you in see their the masks. Yeah, they were all in their white suits. Like no, no, the ah. masks. They have masks. Yeah, Do you like, know, it's, it's just a, a sheet. Okay, this is, what? It's just a sheet. No, no. It no. always has been. Never mind. There's, never mind. It's just like... Okay. That... I could not wrap my head around why we still have that. And Oh, uh, well. It's America. Glad I don't live down in South America. We're the America. most cultural <laughs> hub of the world. That's also China. <sighs> well, I think Hopefully that... Hopefully that didn't uh... offend any people. I, that was just something that I had to... Talk about good final topic. Good final topic. No, we we should end with something related to gaming. <laughs> Call yeah, we should end up with that. <laughs> well, that topic. we had to do something. They should make a game where you play as the leader of the KKK. No. <laughs> oh my god. Actually, oh, the, no. they had the guy. <laughs> the, 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 actually, you know who was by? And I'm anyone who's listening might know this channel. Vice. They do. World topics, basically. They go to places. They did this, and the guy he was actually going like he w he met the leader of them, and it was just it was so okay, how they okay. act yeah how they acted it was just so wrong what they did like I don't know. All right, I think we should get off this. No, we should do one more topic. No, tr off tr this topic. Topic. get off this topic. Oh yeah, yeah. Get, get I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> I don't like that topic anyways. I just, I had to bring it up because it was just something that was bothering me. We can talk about North like, Korea. Important to they know. are not doing anything now. North Korea North is Korea kind is of, uh... bashed by the internet. Yeah, they're just getting, I think they're starting to subside a little bit. They get bashed more than us, They're so starting to calm down. They're not going to do oh, anything. Oh, so, I have one last topic. I went to see Fast and Furious 6 today. It was a pretty good movie, actually. No, it's just an action movie. Well, it was still good. <laughs> yes, it's an action movie. That's the point, Garrett. No, yeah. no, no, no. It's just all it is. It's just action. No, but I'm... So I've seen posts and people Dead are like... Dead action. The, you know, normal runway is like... The longest runway in the world oh. is four miles long. And then it's like the runway is across the whole United States. It's like, okay. So I actually took the time after the movie. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to figure out the runway. And I'm not going to give any spoilers. But the whole scene lasted about ten minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes in total, something like, we estimated it was about 10 minutes, and I looked up on Google what the Ant, okay, I've, you've seen the trailer, it's the Antonov 225, that's the plane, it's the largest plane in the world that's being flown, 
Basically, this plane's takeoff speed is 278, but for the purposes of the Extremely movie... slow. Yes. For the purposes of the movie, and I don't want to give spoilers, they were probably going about 200. And that would be reasonable for the cars they had, because if they even if we did 250, you still have to have like a Bugatti to get up to that speed and, can, and sustain that spe speed for you know a total amount. So we did 200. So we worked it out. We figured out that that runway is probably about 33 miles long. Makes sense. The longest runway in the world is four miles long. I think that's at Area 51. No, Area that. 51 is 2.6 miles. No, I I don't know. I don't know where it was. No, it it was around it four miles. I'm gonna look it up right now. And I was like, 33 miles. That is a long <laughs> runway. I mean, it was a pretty good movie, but I thought that was funny. As I I told my dad before, and I was like, everyone was making fun of the runway because it's so long. And once he got to that, once the part was done, he was like, you know, I agree with you. That that scene was way too long. It's just action. That's all that matters in those movies. The runway at Area 51 okay. is... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We need the longest be, runway, probably by Probably could be way. wrong, but last I knew, it was two miles. Well, they, Wait, how, how long is... It's the longest many, runway in the world. How many feet are in a mile? Like 3,000 something? 5,260, oh, 5, 5, right? Yeah, something like that. Okay, well then this is definitely... Wrong. wrong. Hang on, let me go back. Let me get off of Wikipedia. Yeah, I wouldn't trust them. Sorry, Wikipedia. How, how, how much was it? It was like 3,000 something. Feet. So it's not even a mile. <laughs> no, it's a mile. It's more than a mile. Yeah, I, it's the longest runway in the world. Which makes sense. They got a test plane. Okay, here there. we go. Here we go. Boom, here. Total runway length is 12,400 feet. So it's. Oh, yes, I was right. It's around two miles long. Well, I was close. I was close. It's like a, that's a runway that the space shuttle would need. Yeah. Oh, no. Space shuttle has... Uh, I think they, it has... They need an extremely long runway. No, I think they use... Um, what is it? They use parachutes to slow themselves down, too. Yeah. Yep. I think... Don't they use also um, negative rockets to slow them down that shoot forward to slow them down? No. I don't wait, believe so. Point, wait. I think... I saw one show where one one plane does use forward well, thrusting rockets. So yeah, it slows them down. Back in the 1970s, uh, the whole thing. Now, don't I know I'm wrong with this, but in the Middle East we had this issue and we had quite a few hostages. We need to get over there and get them out. So what we did is we took. Obviously, you can't take helicopters because you know a lot of helicopters. You could see them. We used a C-17, the cargo plane. Basically, what we did, so we took solid rocket fuel uh, fuel boosters, oh, and I we see. put them facing forward on the plane, so that right when they, before they landed, they could burn the fuel, and it was like, the runway was, they landed in a football field. They landed a C-17 cargo plane in a football field, and took off from it too. So... There are planes that do use that technology to slow themselves down. Yeah, I've seen it. Like NATO, yeah, have you, you ever heard of NATO? Yes. Yeah. NATO is what C-130s use to take off on short runways. It, uh, they're basically rockets that you attach to them, and it. Like, have you ever seen Myth, Myth, Mythbusters? Yeah. The rocket car. Mm-hmm. They use NATOs on that. Just helps with the thrust, thrust to weight ratio. It's basically boosters for a plane. Yeah. Speaking of that. The newest plane that the military owns, the F-22 Raptor, when the engines on it, like when you're banking, the engines actually turn, so you can make your turn extremely... Thrust vectoring. Yes. Oh, Thrust God. Vectoring. I don't yes. even want to know what the G-forces it's, it's, you would experience. It's over, oh. it's over nine Gs. It's over nine Gs that you The experience. pilots on that are amazing. Yeah. Have you ever heard of the like normally you would black out from that. No, have you ever heard train. of the A10 Warthog? Yes. The A10 Warthog. Pilots on that I have taken that. like 10 Gs. Yeah, because they such like such a heavy plane that when they turn. Yeah. Well, yeah. One of the things like when they're going down and shooting a target and they got to pull up really quick, that that got that has to put a lot of Gs yeah. on you. I mean, 
you I'm pretty sure everyone, maybe not Matthew, has ridden a roller coaster, right? I've yes. you're not even experiencing I've, two G's I've ridden on a, roller a roller coaster. coaster. I don't like them, but I have I wouldn't consider them big ones. Yeah, still. you might experience two G's on a roller coaster. Maybe. And even then, you might black out too. Yes, even like most, I think I I I would I think the most G's I've ever gotten. I'm pretty sure this is correct. Is like three point eight or something. Now, see, the thing is, because we had a, you may be experiencing that much then, but in a car crash going like sixty miles an hour, you experience like a hundred G's. But that's in a For a split second. Yeah, but that's still, a like a hundred G's. That's a lot of that's a lot of G forces. That means okay, if you weigh sixty pounds, how much is that? That means if you weigh six hundred thousand pounds. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, that's sixty thousand yeah. pounds. Let's see here. Hang Matt, on. you're in algebra. You should know this. <laughs> that's like, hey, I'm in geometry now. I'm in the same math class as Troy. One forty times. I'm just doing like nine Gs. That means that's one thousand two hundred sixty pounds. That's something like Jupiter would make you weigh. Jupiter would make you weigh quite a bit compared to yeah, what you Yeah, but Jupiter is gas. No, what? No, it might have been one of Jupiter's moons. I can't remember what planet it was exactly. Titan. Possibly, but one Titan's of the, one of the famous. planets. If you if you could no, it was Jupiter. If you could stand on Jupiter, you'd be experiencing so much force pulling down on you that you probably couldn't stand, and you'd weigh like. You know, a hundred pound person would weigh like nine hundred something pounds. Uh, if you if you weighed if you were taking three G's on a planet, a planet that was three times denser than ours, you couldn't stand. Yeah. I mean, even two times possibly you couldn't stand. Because your bones would be too fragile. And your muscles are too small. Yeah. I mean, you'd have to be an Olympic stander. <laughs> this is your job. You just stand all day. And for the you next event, <laughs> the Olympic standers. <laughs> I get the feeling that if we get Troy big... has his arms out right right in front of him. <laughs> Alright. Is that our last topic? I don't even know if that was a topic. I that was just kind of a random That was just that was just information that Actually, I just like threw all that I didn't going, say it worked. Oh, we, yeah, did. we were watching a video. We were watching a video today and uh it was of a what was it? The B fifty two bomber. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't ask me what this pilot was doing. He he had some issues. He was turning, and you know when you turn with the plane, you go on your side somewhat, and then, you, you know, you turn that way. Well, this guy thought he was special, and he could just go all the way sideways. Like, he was going past the sideways limit. He was going upside down. He was starting to go upside down. Yeah, and he was in the B-52. If you need to look what it is, if you need to look it I up know, to I see the size. It was like eight engines, like... You can't recover from that. You're basically gone. And he ended up crashing and exploding. That's so. a huge explosion, too. <laughs> this is on YouTube? Yeah. yeah. Type in B-52 um, explosion. It's hap. <laughs> yeah, like, at, at that point, you can't recover from your stake, and you just... It's kind of what happens. Sucks. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what his issue was. He was turning way too steeply. He was fucking first. Which one was it? Miss up a B-52 on Fairchild Air Force Base. That's, That's it. That's it. That's it. That's the one. What Just skip it? towards the end if you want to see the explosion. B-52. Actually, I kind of want to see it. It's kind of... I don't... It's not that long. No. It's just, like, if you guys watching want to see it, it just type in B-52 explosion or something. It's at the Fairchild, right? Air Force Base? Yeah. Yeah. Um... Unless you don't want to see that, then don't. But it's, I mean, he was really wrong when he was flying. He was just flying, like, he, he got to the point where he was upside down. Or what is it, B-52? At um, Fairchild Air Force Base, Washington. Oh, my God. Alright, I'll just skip right here. Well... Oh, well, we should probably be ending it soon. Yeah. It's been a long... It's been uh, longer than intended. Yeah, that's. I, I already knew, like, it would be longer. Um, hopefully everything We're went well. like an hour and 20 minutes. Oh my god, what? What is yeah, he turning? that's what I said. That's what I said. What? Why would you turn like that in a bomber? Like, any... Well, it's highly maneuverable. 
Obviously, you need your barrel rolls. That's, that's not a high removal bomb. I'm, just, just, kidding. I'm bomber. just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, oh what was God. that one thing, James? We were we were playing Gary's Mod or something, and you were you were flying upside down, and you let your bombs go, and you're like, "Oh, why did I blow myself up?" You let the bombs go when you're flying upside down. It, it's gonna go up in the air. It's gonna I come right get, back down that. and hit you. <laughs> Not only that, I did put C4 accidentally on my airplane. Yeah, nice job. Saw what? The only reason you could fly like that is if you are at such a high altitude, you would have so much air beneath you. That you could just... No, you wouldn't have that much air beneath you. No, 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 I know. But you'd have time to recover. You'd go straight down, then you'd slowly pull up. I That'd don't even know. A plane that big, you might ruin some of the stuff if no, you, you'd if rip you the do. wings off before you could do anything. Yeah. Uh, wait, what's this? It's more of a fighter jet type of maneuver. If if not even that. I mean, he's... He, I don't know how many Gs he pulled when he landed. <laughs> Well, I don't think he's alive to tell us, depending, uh, Obviously. just, just looking at that explosion, I'm gonna say that he's probably, I'm I sure love, he's fine. I love the YouTube videos <laughs> when it's obviously fake, it's something extremely fake, they're just being funny, and it's like, top comment, if you look closely, you can see that this is fake, <laughs> it's like, yes, yes he can. Actually, you guys did make a point that, um, one of the people in the plane, uh, ejected, but as he slowly went down, he went into the explosion and still died. Oh my god. That's gotta be a horrible death. Oh no, Troy, you can bring this up if you want, where you talked about it on the walk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's this video on YouTube. Okay, okay, so, so today, in ROTC, in Air By the way, Force, he's in high school, so he's in ROTC, Marines. An Air Force recruiter came, and he was, like, talking about this uh, YouTube video of, like, the Taliban... Cutting off this U.S. soldier's head, and it's on YouTube. He said, and he said it was like oh, yeah. the most disturbing thing that he's ever seen. Apparently, they use like blunt knife, yeah, like a, a blunt a, knife, and they just kept whacking at him, and eventually, like his head his, just fell his off. head just came off. Oh my god! I'm not looking up that video. You guys no, can do I'm that not. if you want. I'm not. That's just a disgrace. If. <sighs> So, anything we've talked about today, you can look up. I'm not going to include it in the description. Um, I've, I've told most of the videos I've said who it was made by. Um, so, if you want to look it up, you can. Um, doesn't matter, so. Uh, it's not going to be in the description. Um, I'll probably, in the description, I'll just kind of give an overview, and there won't be much, so. Um, we should probably be ending it here soon. Hopefully this went well, and you guys liked it. We didn't if, mean any harm. Now, yeah, if you did, no. and we, you know, we get, you know, a decent amount of views, and we feel like we can do another, then we'll keep doing this. If you like our commentary, if you think we're funny, if you like just in general, um, then leave a like and uh, check out our other videos that we're gonna post. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends because we're all. You, they'll, if you like games. If you if you agree with us in general you, about Call of Duty, you, if you don't, then don't agree with us. But <laughs> we still talk about games. Yeah, it's just, that's that's our main that's objective. Uh, right. The background of this video, I just made this real quick. It's also the background of the channel. If you want, like, we're gonna change this. Um, once we get more people, maybe we can get some fan art and post it up here. I don't know. That's that that's art. a long shot, but. Alright, I think we are good.